hello welcome to my channel please subscribe and turn on the bell icon to enable you receive notification when i upload a new video in this channel in this video i will be showing you how to use naps theory to predict the gender of your unborn baby from 12 weeks ultrasound scan naps theory is a medical method used by healthcare professionals to dictate an early prediction of your baby's gender from an ultrasound Nob's theory originated from the analysis of the knob. A knob is also known as a genital tubercle. This genital tubercle of your child will grow into a male or a female external genitalia, defining their gender. It develops around week 11 and 13 during pregnancy. Around week 18 and 20 weeks of pregnancy, an ultrasound scan, also known as anomaly scan, is performed to know the size of the baby organs, amniotic fluid level, placenta position, and to rule out abnormalities. But even before 18 weeks of pregnancy, a gender of a baby can still be predicted after 12 weeks of pregnancy using Nobbs theory. So, predicting the sex of your baby before 18 weeks ultrasound is a 50-50 game at best. According to Nobbs theory, a boy's knob will be pointing out in a different direction than the knob of a baby girl. If you're expecting a baby boy, the knob will angle upwards. On the other hand, if you're going to have a baby girl, the knob will lie down flat. If your baby is a girl, compare the angle of your baby's bottom or the spine to the angle of the knob and if it sits horizontally in line with the spine or even points down towards it, then your baby is a girl. Also, if the knob points straight out, forming an angle below 30 degrees in relation to the spine, is a girl. For a baby boy, if the knob is at much steeper angle upwards from the spine, shows your baby is a boy. Also, if the knob from a 30 degree angle or more in relation to the spine is a boy. The average reliability of knob theory currently stands at more than 80%. However, the accuracy depends on the following conditions. 1. The size of the fetus must be bigger than 60 mm. 2. The ultrasound image must reveal the whole knob. 3. You must get a scan after 12 weeks of your initial pregnancy diagnosis. This is also 14 weeks since your last menstruation. This method is no 100% reliable, especially if you get an ultrasound before 12 weeks of pregnancy because the knob will not be clearly visible until the 12 weeks, so relax and don't bother yourself. 4. The healthcare professional must be an expert. 5. The baby needs to be in a clear profile position so the length of the spine is visible. So, boy or girl? Predicting the sex in such cases is a 50-50 game at best. It is just for fun. Just wait to 18 weeks ultrasound or until you've met your baby after delivery. If you've enjoyed this video and you would like to watch similar videos from this channel, please subscribe and turn on the bell icon to receive notification when I upload a new video in this channel. Bye.